At least, you know what even shocks me the most? Right, in that convoy, I might be wrong, but I didn't see one innocent or not car there. Toyota, 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 I'm counting you Toyota, 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 Toyota. Where's the innocent? Where's the innocent? Where's the nod? Where's the innocent? Where's the innocent? Where's the nod? If those hundred cars you bought them from innocent, yes. We'll have seen the effects. Yeah. We need to see Japan, Japan, see Japan, 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 Japan. I tried to count the cars. There were about 30 of them. Yes. More than 30 of them. But you know... What is happening in Abia State? Nigerians, what is happening in Abia State? Even Tinubu himself is left speechless. Honestly, because they themselves, they cannot make a down payment for as little as the tiniest light that can roast bole. Nigerians, take a look at this. We'll take another story. Social media is awash with reactions following the inauguration of the 188 megawatt geometric power plant in Aba, Abia State, to accelerate power supply to industrial clusters in the region. The power plant has been described as the first integrated electricity facility in Nigeria and the biggest investment in the southeast zone of Nigeria, with an estimated investment of $800 million since its inauguration. There's been steady power supply. Light choke! And back to the world. <laughs> Light the choke. See, see, how many days now? It's as AC. Everywhere, does they chill. Everywhere, they chill. When two person won't give her less hotel now, we go there enough. Eh? Wait till. I beg go. This light there, it's just a tutorial me, they tutorial me, they go. <laughs> Light the choke. Well, all right, that's a video that has been trending on social media. But also, you saw those images that were circulating on uh, social media. There's been steady power supply, but, uh, you know, Rufa, you were saying that you're not even so sure just, that... They so, what she's doing is just cool. Yeah, so, <laughs> what, is, yeah, so what, what you lost, yes. you lost your power station. There are many things that go to this functionality and sustainability. We had Sam Amadi, and thank you we had Sam Amadi just before the show, that knew so much about and he said it. You did a lot of functionality, transmission, gas, yeah. transmission and everything, connection, distribution of the lines, you know, yeah. many things involved. So this person is just playing cruise to shock. No, they're showing the excitement. They're showing the excitement. That's really is, what it which is. Which is good. Yeah. Which is good. Which is good. Which is good. Trending. But yeah. because of that. We need to be yeah. careful mm -hmm. about excitement in this country. Okay. So that some people will not tell us mechanical completion like uh, some months ago after they said they want to sell us in refinery and all of that. And uh, some people have said, okay, we've had enough. We've gotten enough crude oil. Uh, we're going to sell it to the market at this time. So that it, until when you start seeing it, you will keep it on the right because many things you still have to go on. Every position needs a feedstock. Huh, they show of a sustainable, you know, gas production. Yeah. It's not, and this is not the first time we're going to have independent power, you know, projects in the country. We've, we've got some, but you know, have they had their first crisis? Have they had their first gas leak? What's the most? And I'm sure Sam Amadi did, you know, report. So that person is just cruising. You know? no, <laughs> let, me, let me just say something. Yeah, go ahead. Yeah, yeah. The country is tough. Yes. Let anyone who something. wants to cruise and be excited. Absolutely. I think the prospect of what the launch of that power plant brings, especially for the people in Abia State, is enough to elicit a celebration. It's good. Yes. So yes. It, it, we congratulate the yes. Abia State government. Um, Governor Alex Otibo, I must mention, I wasn't, he, he didn't start it. Yeah. But we've talked about government being a continuum. So from 2004, during the Ojus or Kalu administration, and kudos to Professor Bart Naji, mm -hmm. who has been you know, spearheading this, and also Afrexin Bank, mm -hmm. um, who gave a, a seed cap of $50 million yes. financing investment in this project. And just talk about what the possibilities that exist when you have good leadership and, private, and even the private sector, people who believe enough and have a vision as to the possibilities that can happen in a nation like Nigeria. Mm -hmm. Congratulations to the people of Abia State. Please throw a party. And more than that, hold your government to account to ensure that you see the completion of this phase of the of the work. Well said, Ayo. Well, all right, we'll take another. So, guys, before I allow you to watch the video on Tinubu's convoy that has been trending on the social media, take a look at the pathetic story of this woman. Our politicians don't care. They don't care about you and I. Listen to this. They enter my house. When they enter, we get first number, which is said as security. But when we get go outside, before I know, I saw my husband running out of to my house. So immediately when I see my husband, I not wake my children. So yeah, let's go because this one is not security. Let us go outside. And I with my children. Before my dad is house, tell me, say, see, now I cannot enter. My me and my children, we do already full up. No, we enter bush. We go lie down for attendance. So line, line down, one after the other. We all of us, we lie down. When we lie down, 
I see them. They don't come at the whole place. Some people say, oh, yeah, madam, pack your children, come across, come across. So I now pack my children across to that side. As we begin the run, I know where slippers, my children, they know where clothes. So something shoot me for my leg. I said, let me come out that something that, that shoot me. Before I know, I don't see my children again. Everybody disappear. I don't see where they put them. They run. Me and my run follow one side. As we they run, now where one people see me, what happened? I don't know. They say, oh, you better enter the house. Make enter the house. I say, I beg, I don't see my children more. I can't enter. I can't follow now without you see my children. Let me go and see my children. They say, no, no, make her follow them. That's why I follow them. Go for their house. But as I stay for their house, I don't get it of mine because my children, I don't see them. Now, so after this, these people, they stay for that street. Shooting gun, so they, they make sure their name. They make sure their name. Say, oh, yeah, they say people not there for this house. The other one go say people there. They go there. Make sure enter. So they don't shoot. Before I go, I don't know what's going happen again for that street. So now, let's this where this happen finish. We now come back. Don't see my front window. They break everything. They enter. Pack my two phone. Pack my daughter on. Pack the money where I keep. That I turn my clothes upside down as if they know my house very well. Don't share. Even my push share for parlor. Then turn and take that person had the hide from back of the the push share. They start the whole thing. Now so I see myself this morning. Now so I see myself this morning. May government come and help us. May they come and help us for this kind of thing. Let them bring new solution for us because we don't do bad. We don't do bad to buy from Boring Gora. We don't do bad. I can't go and leave my I can't go and leave my house. I don't already built house. I can't carry my my house from here and go my village. I beg. Let them beg to know what to do. Let them do well for us because we are suffering. We are suffering. I beg. So guys, this happened in Kaduna. Let me allow you to watch the video on Tinubu's convoy. I mean, this incident you just listened to, this woman narrated now, happened in Kaduna. People no longer sleep in Nigeria. I mean, people are suffering. But take a look at the number of convoy that accompanies your president. Despite the economic hardship Nigerians are going through at the moment. Well, in the meantime, a video showing President Bola Ahmed Tinubu's convoy when he arrived in Lagos on Wednesday has made the rounds on social media, eliciting reactions in the wake of economic hardship protests that rocked the nation. <laughs> statement about saying that he, you know it is his duty he chose the job and he knows what he's facing and you know somewhat apologizing for the you know hardship that we are facing at this moment you see the convoy there we see the convoy there, yeah, we see the convoy there. Yeah. So it, it speaks volumes uh, but uh, let me let me even make an excuse for president okay, this morning uh, let's let me make a very funny excuse and say, oh it's not only his convoy there are people that joined him but is it today is it today we see comments like this? This was not the same convoy he took to a mosque on Lagos Island. People were shouting, being pami. He's being power. So when people are seeing this kind of convoy so much like this, and for the man yesterday that was comparing Nigeria and the UK and saying, oh, foreign leaders who take their children on foreign trips abroad. Hope you see, can you compare this convoy with that of the British Prime Minister okay. when they are going to Westminster? Can you compare the convoy? Although we see the British Prime Minister, when, when the British Prime Minister is moving, they have this number of convoys. So, you see, it's the wrong signal. You say you want to cut cost of governance. People are seeing this kind of convoy. You are not taking the cuts yourself. You are saying one thing, you are doing another thing in return. You say, okay, we are cutting the list to 20. We are seeing 38 people on the list. We haven't seen a luggage man there. I'm like, really? Right. Luggage man. Special person that is on his luggage. <laughs> you you know. expect the president to take it, carry his own luggage? You're fine. Come on now. <laughs> <laughs> but I guess you're asking so, what is the. Um, so, so, special, so, so you have a special luggage man. Yeah. You, there to carry luggage. Well, his sons could help him since they're going on the trip. Uh, so, no, his sons will uh, maybe get to have their own luggage people there. So, you see the level of waste. The problem that we need to process is the waste in government. Mm -hmm. That's why all this, why we, we keep bloating our recurrence. There's so much waste. There's so much waste. Mm -hmm. That's what we see. So, with this, we are not surprised. We know our lives will be hampered for today. There's going to be traffic everywhere as usual and all of that. But we wish them well. Yeah. We wish them very well. 
they should just do right for the Nigerian people. We yeah. just want to see more. Absolutely. We just want to see more. I, I, and at I, least, you know what even shocks me the most? Right, in that convoy, I might be wrong, but I didn't see one innocent or not car there. Toyota, 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 I'm catching you, Toyota, 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 where's the innocent, where's the innocent, where's the nod, where's the innocent, where's the innocent, where's the nod, if those hundred cars, you bought them from innocent, yes, We'll have seen the effects. We need to see change. Japan, we Japan, see Japan, change. Japan, 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 Japan. I'd like to count the cars. There were about 30 of them, yes. more than 30 of them. But you know, the, the irony of poetic injustice is if we look on the other side of the road, where yeah. he has where it is traffic um, back to back, bumper to bumper, cars on the other side. And it is a reality and a reflection of the center of excellence whereby we still are plagued with the traffic situation and also the hardship. Oh, yeah, the people way, drive for five hours. For five hours. Well, yesterday, Third Milan Bridge was closed for 24 hours, so that exacerbated the challenge. Perhaps they didn't plan that as well very well. If you knew the president was coming, which already is a traffic instigator, then you shouldn't maybe plan to close Third Milan Bridge as well on the same day. Mm -hmm. But let me go back to the statement made by the president. And like you mentioned, and I said this earlier, I think it's a good show of leadership. Mm -hmm to be able to acknowledge a challenge or a problem and take ownership of the problem. Yes. What we've seen in, in the past is a lot of passing of the buck, passing the buck. Oh, it's the previous administration. He has said that in the past. But at least this time he said, I understand. But when he said that, oh, the foreign regulators are paying, when I said, you're not the president of the foreign world, your people, the foreigners might be happy, IMF, World Bank might be praising you, yeah. but your people who elected you, or the people whom you're yeah. meant to serve, are, are crying, are yeah. suffering. And so at the end of the day, he's not campaigning any longer. He's now governing. Yeah, the but buck you also stops made that thing. point about not defaulting on the loan. On the loan, so, yes. I mean, I thought that was was quite yeah, so that, I mean, there's some good at, things. Let's look at that as there's well. some good things he we said. Should. He's acknowledged right. it, so good, but please still say that there's still a lot of people suffering and we need to address that. I think I like that's very that. important, yeah. I like that. We'll take another story. As the conversation around the dollarization of Nigeria's economy takes center stage, owing to rising inflation, a list of Bureau of the Change operators with unusual names have surfaced online. Well, in 2006, the CBN decided to sell cash directly to BDCs as part of a liberalization program to ensure adequate supply to the sector. At the time, there were less than 100 operational BDCs in Nigeria, with weekly sales of less than $30 million. However, according to the CBN, the number of BDCs stands at 5,690. Well, here's a review of some of the unusual names. I mean, this was circulating on social media. I, uh, I had to pick some of them, which I thought were ridiculous, really. Well, what is Deep Freezer BGC? I mean, look at that. Oh, then they have a home alone and, and they have a couple. But, you know, I, I felt like it was quite weird. Like, we saw happy ends. Is that happy ends or happy hour? And then there's <laughs> Honeymoon BDC. We also had Home Alone BDC. But this is quite ridiculous. It's quite absurd. Because, you know, if you recall, um, uh, Godwin Mefele had, you know, tried to... You know, close ranks on these uh, BDC operators saying that they are really causing the dollarization of the economy because some of them have, they are multiple and they own, you know, they are able to access the same person back, back to back, having the same access to those FX rates. But I thought this was a funny story it's to pull up. It's a funny story and yeah. it just shows that these people think that it's only a joke. Yes. And at the end of the day, they don't even, they, they don't even take the effort or the, they don't take the time to even come up with creative names to show yeah. that they're a legitimate company. What has happened with that opening of the policy with the, um, the previous CBN governor yeah. to have the CBN sell directly to the BDC so that they also can be, um, they can play in the foreign exchange market and also sell for the right. sales people is that people started coming up with ridiculous organizations yeah. or called BDCs and the same promoter could have like 10, 20 to be able to because they get an allocation from the from the CBN right. be able to get as many as much allocation as possible and then dollarize and this is this is what promotes a lot of corruption in that in that space. Right. We've talked about round um, tripping. We've looked at how um, it's just a, it's just racketeering. People just taking money, and the, if, and unfortunately, it has consequences on the economy. You've talked about the dollarization of our of our country, whereby everybody now is it, it's we, we are almost running a dollar denominated um, um, country in Nigeria. I believe that the CBN is the one that licenses these BDCs, and what has been complained about is that the numbers are now even becoming too many for there to be a proper oversight of these BDCs, and that's why we find ourselves in this conundrum that we have with foreign exchange, of course, not the um, only um, uh, you know, contributory factor. But I think it's time to sanitize, and in terms of regula regulation, the BDCs. Absolutely. Let us cut out this nonsense. Look at um, um, 14th February. Was he feeling high on Valentine's Day? When they were not lending to the real economy. So the BDCs today is just another iteration of what the banks used to be back in the days. Mm -hmm. And that's just how the country is cycled. So as long as there's special interest. You see, the biggest problem in Nigeria is all these funny names you're seeing on BDCs. It's just a reflection of the special interest mechanism that works in this country. So as long as there's special interest, don't worry. Probably we to one day when we have somebody close there, 
We can just set up uh, Rufai IO and OG BDC. No, that's even too, we, that's even too serious because if you look at the names there, okay. none of them are serious. Yes, okay. Some are serious. Like two rice and beans. Rice, rice and beans. beans. <laughs> we, 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 will just say, we will just say crude oil and gas. No, crude oil and gas. Nix. And Ayomi and Rufi on fire BDC. And what are we going to get? Probably at the end of every week, they'll just be giving us, we'll get allocation about $20,000. Yeah, $20,000. Then we know what we'll probably do. Unfortunately, I met in on Wednesday. I showed Nigerians that the nation would survive the current economic hardship in the country and took full responsibility for the adverse outcomes of his policy reforms. The president made the comments when he addressed Afeni Fere leaders at the residence of Pa Ruben Fashoranti in Akure Undo State. Tinubu was in Akure to pay a condolence visit to the family of the late Rotimi Akire Dulu, former governor of the state. Tinubu told Afeni Fere leaders that his administration is working to ensure that Nigeria is reformed for greater efficiency and that he is leading Nigeria towards economic and social prosperity. I wanted to make sure that I read out what uh, Tinubu said. I believe yeah. Ajurin Galali released a statement yesterday. So let's pull up some of um, his statements there. Well, he wrote, Nigeria will survive the current economic challenges. There is light at the end of the tunnel. I requested the job and I am not complaining about it. I take full responsibility. We are meeting our obligations to the international community, to lenders. We have not defaulted and we are not going to default. We are navigating the twists and bends on the road to Nigeria's prosperity. The economic challenges we have endured since assuming office are not new to me. As the former governor of Lagos State, I faced similar calls for my resignation. But through perseverance, Lagos emerged as the fifth largest economy in the entire continent of Africa. We must manage this moment with wisdom and grow Nigeria responsibly. So, guys, you have seen it for yourself that the suffering in this country is not ending anytime soon. I don't know what you make of the convoy that you saw that accompanied the president to, to Lagos. You can imagine the number of vehicles. You can imagine, honestly, these are taxpayers' monies, you know, being wasted and used in a very rough manner. Yeah, at this time that the economy is biting, I heard that Nestil has recounted their losses. They are losing billions and billions of Naira this time because of the exchange rate, because of the Naira devaluation. Those foreign countries are really suffering at the moment. All the foreign investments are on their knees. They are almost crumbling because the foreign, because of the exchange rate is something else. And you can see the number of convoy your, your president is using, the number of cars involved. Honestly, Nigeria is not yet ready to liberate itself. And that is why we keep having all this back and forth. Things are not getting better. Anyway, let me know what you think about this in the comment section below. Please don't forget to subscribe to the channel and turn on the notification bell. Thank you.